Please. Thank you. Right. We'll get uh, you next. Don't worry. I saw you. So you were saying? They've experienced a woman that doesn't care for sex and just does it for fun. So they meet another woman and think it's the same, but it's not the same. Yeah, I mean, every girl, there's varying degrees of um, how much value women put on, on sex. Because some know? women just do it so, just yeah. to do it like an activity, like a man. For sure. I, I don't think that's okay. Because uh, then a man why? will... What, like, why that's don't you life. think that's okay? Yeah, why is that? That's what, her life. What's, what's okay about Sister. it? Sister. What's not okay about it? Yeah, what's like okay about it? Like a girl seeing sex as, like, whatever? Yeah, tell us. I'm sorry, I don't want to speak on this topic because I know a lot of women are like that. Oh, anybody watching the podcast right now? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's the reason why. That's another reason why men treat women the way they do because because of this exact reason. Why are you scared though? Because I don't want to offend women, and I'm also a hairstylist. Yo, it's her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm respectful. I'm respectful. Talk your shit. I'm very respectful. Yeah. I don't yeah. Yeah. Talk your shit. I'm not nobody's. I'll, I'll say it. she's slut shaming. But, yeah. yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. I mean, yo, I mean, she yo, said there's oh, nothing wrong with saying it. Like, no, because <laughs> women complain about how men treat um, women, but this is the exact same reason why. Ooh. Okay, they did it right. before. That but was all women are not the same. Okay, that's what like I'm trying to say. Bias when I see your perspective. I agree though. with you're that. Saying, you're saying a man's treatment is direct, is correlated with how the sex, woman behaves. Yes, yeah. I look at okay. sex very personal. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, I know a girl that gave her man her kidney and he still cheated on her. That's Kid fine. Kidney? I don't, I don't I mean, care what, what, what situation was. I still look at sex very personal. He got cheated. It don't matter. She just helped him live longer. Just like you guys said, he will love her. Yeah. Cherish her. He doesn't want to be with... Like she said... Her man's a porn star. My baby. I know a lot of celebrities oh, that have cheated on their girl, but still love their girl. Stop talking right to right. her, bro. <laughs> okay, but um, that's what I'm saying. Clear. How All is right. he gonna take you seriously when he's doing that, though? All right. So, <laughs> what, was that what you wanted to say earlier when you had your hand up? No, I, I was What's asking though, like, do you guys not have girlfriend, like girlfriends though? If Very. you're saying that you don't friends? have and you you can't get all from a female if you're not having sex is are you saying now that you don't have girls as friends is that what you're saying oh uh platonic female friends absolutely not no you don't at no. all uh no and and, and the, there's a very uh, i guess uh, logical logically sound reason for that um, Misogyny. women are fairly useless <laughs> as friends to be honest with you really? they're fairly useless yeah Sheesh. um anything that they pr could provide i can get from a guy and it's going to be better so for, <laughs> i'll give you an example right pause during the course of this conversation, when I asked you guys, put yourself in the man's shoe, what did you guys immediately all do? Oh, I'm a baller, or oh, I got money, blah, blah, blah. You automatically assume that you are a higher status individual. I didn't do I that. I didn't do Hold that. On. I Hold didn't on. do that. Hold on. You you might I have agree. not, but women almost always do this when we do this exercise. We've done this more than <laughs> once. So they always assume that they're attractive. They always assume they're tall. They always assume that they have money. And the reason for that is because most women don't understand the male experience whatsoever. You might a little bit if you have a brother, but in general, most women are very unaware of it. And this one, most men are invisible. So my thing is, I'd rather be friends with and confide and discuss topics with someone who also has dealt with the same trials and tribulations, right? That will understand my perspective. Most women don't. So what ends up happening a lot of the times when you have female friends is you end up being her emotional tampon. You end up being her solution provider. You end up being her masculine energy. You end up being a lot of boyfriend traits to that girl inevitably because it's just a male instinct right they've done this too why this is why why did women not be allowed in the military infantry for so long because men have a natural prov a provider protector instinct when a woman is you know getting attacked in combat or whatever men are going to spring to action to try to help her and compromise the unit so this is why women have been kept out of infantry and combat position for so long so i say all that to say this if you end up as a friend with a female you're inevitably going to take on boyfriend traits whether you yeah. want to or not naturally but her on her end, she's not necessarily obligated to give you any type of sexual access. So what's happening is it's a one-sided relationship, which a lot of girls that are, in, you know, put guys in a friend zone, they're able to benefit and get the benefits without the guy getting what he wants. She knows, right? And any and, and a lot of you guys, <laughs> all of you guys right now probably have at least one or two guys that's in the friend zone that would hook up with you in an instant if you called them, but you would never hook up with them. But you're still Sorry. able to siphon yep. off benefit from them. Men, we don't get it that way. So I look at it like, okay, from a logically sound perspective, why am I going to be friends with a female when I know for a fact I'm not going to get any type of reciprocation? And then on top of that, it's someone that can't identify with my masculine problems. It's a it's an L for me altogether. Perfect. And that's, that's why. another reason why men don't want um their girlfriend or wives with the boy best friend. Thank you. So yes. I understand. They're just entertaining why. the thought of them 
they're thinking in their minds constantly about having sex with you. And yeah. even if you hang out with them and you don't think that it's, you know, you think it's innocent, you're still entertaining those thoughts, which is like cheating. Yeah. <laughs> so, th- but, so from like a logically sound perspective, that's why I think it's a waste of time 99% of the time to be friends with women. Now, are there exceptions? Yeah. Of course. I got a friend out in Vegas, Michael Sartain. He's friends with a bunch of females, right? But he's able to leverage being friends with them to get him into certain social situations, mm. right? Mm-hmm. To get invited to parties, have events, etc. So he's able to, or meet other women, right? Because they they serve as social proof. But most guys can't pull this off properly. You know, most guys end up in a in the shit end of the stick where they're giving all this boyfriend energy and they're not getting what they want in return. Yeah. And that will that's what will happen if you're not aware you of what's going on. So because you know it's true. That's why I think it's uh, to answer your question. That's why I don't think it's it's plausible for most men to be friends with women. Don't ask platonically. Question, you don't want the answer. To me. I honestly, I'm a very I'm sorry. go ahead. You were gonna say something. Sure. Uh, I honestly feel like merch. When I see men with their sisters, like their blood sisters, that's different. They, I understand that, but yeah. having that female perspective in their lives has helped a lot of them. No, because I feel like when personally, as a what a woman brings to the table is. Nurture, well, let me ask you no? this: what 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 female perspective uh, would would they get that's valuable specifically? Nurturing, feelings. anything to yes. do with anything to do you with get how that from he your wants to take care of his kids. But from the perspective of a man who wasn't raised, he doesn't know how he has. Qu- he'd be like, "Look, I don't know why she acting this way. I just need. A- can you maybe you can talk to me, open my eyes. You've known me for years. What is it and that it, I can do so to make her advice? feel and safer?" And I mean, if it's a burden, and if it's a burden for men to take on the boyfriend responsibilities and male and female friendships, set boundaries. Work. Right. Set know your place as a friend. Know your place. Know your place Say, as if a we're friend. gonna go out and you're my friend, split the bill. You're my friend, not right? Split the you bill, don't. You, ex- you don't want to give me pussy. Now. Most women are not okay with that. Let's keep but, it a thousand. But, but like I said, they're not okay with that. If I'm going out with my friend, that's like your male friend. Guys, that's 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 if I'm going out with my male friend, I'm expecting to split that bill. Especially if you're dating somebody, you should definitely be like, oh yeah, I'm going with my guy friend, and that guy should definitely. Do you have guy friends right now? Yeah. That you hang out with. Not regularly, exactly. but I do hang out with <laughs> yeah, them. I also yeah, don't yeah, hang out yeah. with anybody like, every what? day. Yeah, okay. I mean, Not regularly. I mean, every single week. This podcast friendly. is making my head hurt by seeing the way people think. What do you really? Mean? Like, like what? The way people think is like irritating me right now. Tell me. <laughs> people are, are like, what, what, what don't you agree with? You? Yo, tell them how it is. Yeah. Tell them what's up. Because I have a dad and like he explains a lot to me. Well... I don't know. Which is why we want to know. Yeah, like what? I mean, you can't I don't just know, make. I also feel like um, roast them. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm roasting nobody. Please don't take nobody. No, I don't yeah, know nobody's yeah. personal You're life. Good. Even if you explained it on the podcast, <laughs> I feel like having male, male friends. Mm, no, male figures in your life, like a father, grandfather, brother, big brother, uncle. Yeah, uncle. Mm. If you have that in your life, you'd understand. Oh, she's coming. Um, what we're saying, yeah, okay. which is what? No, I, w- I really want her to actually say her point without anybody pitching into finish. Uh, that's that's the reason why men, some men think that all women are sluts or coming to a girl profile like Instagram or anything, look at her some, a certain type, type of way. Sorry, mm-hmm. I feel like it's not like that. What is it like? I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, no, but we can't let her. No, we cannot let her make a statement <laughs> and generalize no, 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 it. Wait, 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 wait. What happens in the backup of men? This is the reason why. This is the reason why right, right now. We can't okay, let her get away. Look, look, look. Let let I'll, I'll read. Hold mind. on. Stop. 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 This is why. Listen. This is why a male. Um, a male. Well, how can I say it? Perspective. Figure. A male figure is very important in a woman's life. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, what she's trying to get at? Please correct me if I'm wrong here. Because remember, we talked about, you said, well, you should have a female friend for a female perspective, correct? Mm-hmm. And then your uh, your argument was for nurturing. Right. For nurturing. What I would argue is that it's not a man's job to be a nurturer. I would argue as a father, your job <laughs> is to tell your daughter or your son how the world really works, right? To be the disciplinarian and kind of be the front line for you, to keep your kid from becoming a fuck up. It's the mom's job to nurture. Mm-hmm. Your job is to be the disciplinarian and let your kid know that there's consequences for doing things wrong. This is why, you know, single mother households fail so much. Because I live with my dad and my little brother. So oh. most of the things <laughs> the women are saying is like kind of irritating me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm about to punch my, 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 my,
like, no, I am a support all women. I am a support all women's girl. I'm a girl's girl. No, no, no. No, 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 no I'm not. Because I'm very close to my mom as well. Okay. Okay, but um, um, my social media people probably think um. Who hurt you? Yeah. Nobody hurt me. No, <laughs> but, honestly, I'm not. What? What? My thing is though. I she don't agrees mean, with her perspectives, and she's just she's confused as to why you guys don't see our side. But but I get where you're. Is that what you're trying to say? Because <laughs> I've been watching her when I speak, and she nods with a lot of things I say, and then yeah, and she, she doesn't understand that you guys also, can't grasp um, some I'm of the sorry. things we say. A lot of people be like, um, about this podcast that the guys are bad people or they're mean or aggressive, disrespectful. But it's only because some of the things they are saying is right. It's just the way that they say it that offends the women. All right, W. See, I can relate yeah, to you personally. You're I'm not seeing it, the issue. With a full like, I'm sorry again, girls, girls on here. I love you, girls. <laughs> okay. That's cool. It's okay. We love you, too. Yeah, we Fuck do. with me. Yeah, right, I know Jerry, that's right. Jerry, Jerry. No, um, but um, going back, so yeah, I, I see, because you made the argument about the the um, the nurturing. I, I don't think it's 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 valid. I, I think uh, you're better off as a guy just having guy friends versus having female friends. Even when it comes, because a lot of girls make the argument, oh, well, I could tell you like how to get girls. I don't think women are really good at attracting other women in general. Oof. And, no. and, I'll, and I'll explain because I know she might say, well, I disagree. I have a girlfriend. Wait a minute. What I mean by that is, <laughs> as women, yeah, women are not good at attracting women as, as a, a male. Man. Because attracting a woman as a woman is completely different. She said earlier, and I made sure to ask this, are you 50-50 in your partnership, or in your relationship? And you said yes. But I guarantee if you were a dude and you were with that woman and she was heterosexual, she would not be okay with going 50-50 with you. She would expect you to be the predominant breadwinner. What I've realized is this. And I love asking you know girls that are wait, bisexual wait, wait, this wait. question. That, I'm sorry. Oh, keep talking. Girls that are bisexual, right? If they date both men and women, I ask them, well, what are your standards when you date a man versus dating a woman? They're okay with being equal in 50-50 with a woman, but they are not okay with being 50-50 with a man. I, actually, I, I don't. Most of the time. But that's woman. not my experience. What's not your experience? Well, I actually do really like like masculinity and cult, like the femininity, like that polarity and a dynamic. Yeah. Um, and I find that still is present in my relationship with my girlfriend. Like, I definitely have the more masculine energy no. and she has the yeah. more feminine energy. Yeah. And like, I would like to make more money and I would like to take care of my girlfriend. And I'm trying to do that. So I do understand. And then like with men, the men that I But date, it's not obligatory is my point. Yeah. Kind of it is though. Like you can't. She have, ain't gonna like, leave you if you if you continue to be 50-50 for a little bit longer. She won't no, she would never leave me. We that's love each point. other that's very much. Yeah. That's but, but, the guy, but, but the burner performance would be extremely higher if you were a man. Yeah. She would expect you to pay I a majority understand. of the bills. Yeah, I understand. Versus she'll let it slide since since you're a woman. So what I've realized is like the standards are different for bis even for bisexual women. They hold the men to a way higher standard that they date than the women that they date. I'm bisexual and I hold I my men and my women to the same level. Likewise. You going 50-50 with dudes? I'll go 50-50 mm. with a man. You go 50-50 with I've your guy right now? I've been gone 50-50 with a man. And a lot of men will you take advantage now. of that where, and, where and where say they're the going to go they really want. Where's ask, him, ask him why one woman <laughs> who held up his end of the bargain when he had no job, ask him why that wasn't enough for him. And he's I'll gone. Be, yeah. I would not be. Not my monkey, not my circus. No, it was your problem. With a woman. But guess what? Not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. Not my monkey, not my circus. But she definitely didn't hold him down when he had nothing. Hold on. And he will use Hold that on. and go get a woman he really wants. He will save all his money. Thank you. But the Thank woman you, you really want is not going to do for you what you really need. Nigga, you spin. And he will treat that woman <laughs> the way he was supposed to treat you. Tell her, sister. Where the pop And pop, then pop, anyway, the I read the, the comment. I'm sorry. I know too. we're not supposed to be reading that, but they said they are paying me to be on their side. And every Ooh. female girlfriend I've ever had go 50 50 with me too. I, no ifs, ands, or buts. No bums. Why, I'll why, carry you when you need why, to be carried, just uh, like uh, I expect. That's why you can get finesse. Uh, that's why. Uh, yeah. They said yeah, I'm being paid. Wouldn't it be the, fair the to say on. that since the relationship didn't last, logic that, is that doesn't really work? Because you know. you're saying, oh, well, I, I go 50 50. But all your 50 50 relationships haven't lasted, so wouldn't it be fair to say that? I don't think there's anything work? wrong with accepting reciprocation. <laughs> like, I may not always be able to give 50 50 financially. That's my but point. Right. Can, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's precisely my point, though. Exactly. There's but I'm saying, like, because sometimes you don't, you don't, you start at the bottom, right? Bruh. You're not always at the top. When I, I can do 50 50 with you, you're moving the goalpost. With all due respect, you're moving the goalpost. You're, 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 you're moving the goalpost. The literal argument I'm making is that women 
typically don't fare well when they're going 50-50 with a man. Right. Can they do it? Are they capable? Of course. But is she going to suck your dick with the same ferocity? No. Nope. Is she going <laughs> to submit to you the same way? No. no. Are you going to get sex all the time no. like you want? No. She will no. argue with so you. So was she going? Yes. She's going to be nah. more masculine. She's going to be more tired. She's going to be more likely to challenge your authority. That's why the man is supposed to be. But when you date women, same woman, you listen, that same woman that was provided for that broke man going 50-50 with him, He's gonna leave you eventually. You're right. gonna be like, I did so much for him. I did so much for him, and he gonna still cheat on your ass. Yes, yeah. okay. okay. But it's my thing happen. is though, you're you're mm. basically having a roommate that you f- have sex with. <laughs> what if you're if you're <laughs> dating <laughs> if you're dating a woman no, wait, when you're dating economy? a woman? <laughs> no, but hold on. When you date a woman, you're attractive. You're attracted to their femininity, right? And all that. And when you're dating a man, mm. you're attracted to their masculinity. That's two different things. What if you have to date disagree? Guys. Not all. I'm, not all. Yeah, not all women. If you do not make a man feel like a man, man you will not use any terms that make anybody feel, like feel any type of way. Um, I, I, not all women who are not straight mm-hmm. are feminine, right? True. And not all men who are not straight are feminine. <laughs> I have, I have masculine. siblings, I have siblings, step siblings, half siblings, friends who are gay, bisexual, XYZ. Some of them are feminine, some of them are masculine. I don't but, mind wearing cargo pants and Jordans, but I also like looking nice in this cute ass little dress. So I'm telling you right now, <laughs> but I don't I don't search for masculine or feminine. I if I feel like if I feel like we vibe and we get along and you right, just search you have so, your soul has something to offer. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Bro, you, don't you, you don't know what you want. You don't know what you want. Just say it. You don't know Wait, what you want. I've dated, I've dated women in dresses. I've dated women in pants. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not literally. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I, I think I'm saying, the big, there's a big disconnect with, here, though. I mean, with all the polyamorous stuff. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop. There's a big disconnect here. Because you're saying like, oh, well, I'm not always a feminine woman, etc. That's cool. We live in a society where women don't necessarily have to be ladies and men will accept you. However... You are not going to date a guy that wears heels on Saturdays. Stop it. You're not doing it. <laughs> yep. You're not doing it. Like, like nope. men have a tolerance. That could be her de- preference, men, No, though. she won't do it. I men have, have a tolerance <laughs> for women being masculine to a degree, but women have zero tolerance for a man being super feminine, especially overtly, dressing like a woman, behaving like a woman, etc. Zero tolerance. Like, they're not going to do it. <laughs> if you're not bisexual, I wouldn't want you to be super feminine. I agree with your if statement. You're, if I you're, agree with your statement. Like, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Let's, but let's go back a step. You women don't want to date stop, bisexual stop. men. You wouldn't even give a bisexual nigga a chance. Come on, man. I would. I would that's bisexual. Bisexual. I wouldn't. Bisexual men. I wouldn't Straight women would not date posit. bisexual men. I have been with a bisexual man. Not a cap. I wouldn't posit. Wait, wait, hold on. You would mess with a guy that's bisexual? Right. I'm not a yeah. Yeah. Bisexual. Wait, I'm bisexual. Wait, 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 hold on. No, that bisexual hold on. man will oh, cheat on you with oh, the man you the man you're trying to know with. That's good, man. This nigga is sucking dick. <laughs> getting dick in the butt. Listen, uh, fucking you. I'm not a you're cheater. Cool with that? Um, I'm no, positive if he's staying with me, but yeah, I'm cool with that. You can yeah, look at him too. and and feel like Remember you're looking at him. You can't even bring your, your brother. She's, she's, she's always, she lost her virginity to the guy that she's with. She's never yeah, been with a dude like that. I've never she's been with any other man. Sorry. I feel like you can still you can still be monogamous regardless of your sexuality. What? How old are you? If it's understood that you're both being yeah. monogamous, no, 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 you're, you're, you're missing, you're missing, your missing the point. You're, you're missing the point. I'm saying that men behaving like women or cross-dressing or whatever Sorry. is almost never going to be accepted by a female, whereas a man will accept a woman that wears cargo pants or Jordans, as you put it earlier. Does that make sense? So there's a yeah. level of tolerance mm-hmm. for female masculinity, but there's no tolerance for m- male femininity, you, like overtly. You had a point. Yeah, I feel like mindset-wise, I'm 19, so. When I meet girls that's older than me with a mindset of a sixteen-year-old, it triggers the fuck out of me. You think I have a mindset of no, a sixteen-year-old? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm saying like in general, especially on the internet. Like yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Age early especially right. on the internet. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> somebody else has something. We got a video to play. Point, yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Somebody else has something. <laughs> we have I, to read. I, I didn't no? necessarily have a point. I was just saying oh. that I could never date a bisexual man ever. What? <laughs> like I could not look at him um, as my man, and I want to feel dominated by my man. I want mm. pure, still intense, you. masculine energy. Not I want complete control in my relationship. Yes. I need to be controlled. Yes. I could not We've have a feminine man knees. telling me what to but do. Just because what he's my sexual doesn't make him feminine. Those are different things. What makes you think he's not bending the guy over? What makes you think that still makes it better? What makes you think he's the one bending the guy over? Top slash bottom. Agreement stands, you want the answer? I get where she's what if he's from? You want the answer? It's because he's gay. 
What? No, no, no I feel like it's hard for me. I can't be bisexual, but I'm just fucking sad. Oh, God. We, we'll something? do this real quick. I'm sorry. How many ladies at the table would date a bisexual man? Me. Only Love one? It. Two what kind and three. Of, what okay. kind of questions? I got one word for you guys Kinky. on the panel. Right, so three. Eight. All right, All right let's move on. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, 